Welcome back. Russian President Vladimir Putin and President Abdel Fattah Sisi co-hosted African leaders in the Russian Black Sea Resort of Sochi on Wednesday for the first ever Russia-Africa summit. On the sidelines, the two leaders held a mini-summit and chaired the economic forum. On the sidelines of the first Russia-Africa summit, President Abdel Fattah Sisi held talks with his Russian counterpart, Vladimir Putin, in which the latter expressed keenness to enhance bilateral ties. The meeting tackled regional and international issues of mutual concern, as well as efforts exerted in the fight on terror and Egypt's role in the region in light of its presidency of the African Union. Following their meeting, the two leaders inaugurated the general session of the summit in which El Sisi delivered an inaugural speech. In his address, the president affirmed that Africa is to witness a positive transformation in the coming stage, in which investment, trade and entrepreneurship opportunities increase and in which the field of industry and digital transformation will witness developments due to the potential of its ambitious youth and the encouragement of their governments through incentives so as to achieve the aspiration of the people. The head of state met in the Russian resort of Sochi with South Sudanese President Salva Kiir. Presidential spokesman Bassem Radi noted that the president expressed keenness to further cooperation between the two countries on all levels. El Sisi also met with the head of the African Union Commission, Moussa Faqi, reviewing ongoing efforts to push forward cooperation with the commission. Another meeting was also held with Chad's president Idris Dibi, in which El Sisi commended the historical ties between both states and voiced keenness to enhance and develop bilateral relations in all fields. In his inaugural speech as head of the African Union and co-chair of the Russia-Africa Summit, President Assisi described it as a good opportunity to enhance cooperation between Russia and Africa and that the event pushes forward the 2063 African Sustainable Development Agenda. Addressing the inaugural session of the first Russia-Africa Summit and Economic Forum in the Russian resort of Sochi, President Abdel Fattah Sisi said on Wednesday that the summit enhances means of cooperation between Russia and Africa while pushing forward its 2063 development agenda. El Sisi, who co-chairs the summit with Russian President Vladimir Putin, stressed that development is the best way to achieve the people's aspirations and hopes. The head of state referred to Africa's keenness to integrate highlighting the significance of investing in human resources, especially since the youth represent 65% of the African population. He noted that Egypt has achieved tangible steps on the path of political and economic reform and has achieved tangible results on these fronts. He also reiterated that the Russia-Africa Economic Forum is a big opportunity to tackle various economic files, as Africa plays a pivotal role in the global economy calling on Russian businesses to invest in the continent. For his part, Putin said his country is among the top ten importers from Africa and that trade between Russia and the continent has more than doubled in the past five years to reach over 20 billion US dollars, adding that some consider this a good figure. In his address, President Sisi requested regional, continental and international monetary institutions to shoulder their responsibilities in financing development efforts in the continent while providing monetary guarantees to build Africa's capabilities in a bid to enhance trade and broaden investments. He also called for the provision of the best terms, conditions and incentives for development programs in Africa to meet modernization and sustainable development goals set by the continent and realize peace, stability and economic development. The summit and economic forum tackles three main topics, boosting economic ties, establishing joint projects and enhancing cooperation in the humanitarian and social files. The two-day summit provides for B2B opportunities for more than 3,000 delegates to prepare deals and discuss topics ranging from nuclear technology to mineral extraction. All 54 African states were represented at the summit with Presidents Putin and El Sisi meeting African leaders for bilateral talks throughout the day.
During their encounter ahead of the summit, the two leaders stressed the significance of reaching a peaceful settlement in Syria, Libya, and the occupied Palestinian territories in accordance with international references with the aim of achieving peace and stability in the Middle East along with regional and international issues of mutual concern and bilateral ties. President Sisi expressed Egypt's keenness to deepen partnership ties with Russia within the framework of the comprehensive strategic partnership reached during the last visit to Moscow in October. The head of state praised bilateral cooperation, notably the joint projects currently being implemented, especially the Russian Economic Zone in eastern Port Said and the El Daba nuclear power plant. He stressed the importance of reaching practical outcomes from the summit that serve African states through sustainable cooperation with Russia and expressed readiness to enhance multilateral cooperation within the framework of Egypt's presidency of the African Union. For his part, the Russian leader voiced appreciation for El Sisi's participation that is aimed at deepening historic ties between Moscow and Africa, as well as enhancing consultations on regional and international issues and confronting joint challenges. Putin referred to the importance of his consultations and coordination with President El Sisi concerning various regional and international issues of mutual concern and commended Egypt's role as a cornerstone for security and stability in the Middle East and in Africa. Both presidents probed bilateral ties, joint efforts to combat terrorism and efforts to resume Russian flights to the Red Sea resort of Sharm el-Sheikh, in addition to technical consultations and cooperation in the railroad sector as well as the promotion of cultural ties. The president and his Russian counterpart held a mini Egypt-Russia summit in the presence of the heads of African economic blocs in Sochi. In his statements, Sisi reiterated that Egypt is exerting utmost efforts to achieve African economic integration and in the implementation of infrastructure projects in the continent. He stressed the significance of African-Russian cooperation in various domains during the coming period. Meanwhile, the European Union representative addressed the gathering during which he asserted the significance of boosting ties between Africa and Russia, as well as with other European countries. On the sidelines of the summit, the president met with South Sudan's President Salva Kiir to probe the political situation in his country. El Sisi expressed Egypt's support to the South Sudanese people and administration, as well as their continuous efforts to achieve a final political settlement in Juba. The head of state stressed that such goals can be realized through implementing terms of the peace agreement there, in addition to efforts exerted on the regional and international levels to achieve stability and security, as well as improving the economic situation in the country. For his part, Kier expressed his country's keenness to enhance bilateral cooperation frameworks praising Egypt's efforts to push forward development efforts in the country. The president also met with Chad's president, Idris Dibi, during which they probed bilateral ties.